we live in an era where not only have the streaming wars begun, but we're in an era where the prices on all the streaming services, I feel like every three weeks, if I get a new announcement about prices going up, prices going up, prices going up. Oh, that cheaper level? Yeah, we're eliminating it. That's what Netflix just did. They took their cheapest ad uh, free tier, just got rid of it. Um, like all this kind of stuff. Well, a while ago, an announcement came out from Amazon that, you know, if you're a Prime member, you have Amazon Prime Video. You can watch all the TV shows, all the movies, all that kind of stuff. Ad free. Except Amazon told us a little while ago that regular Prime members, all those TV shows and movies that have been ad free, they will now have ads in them to uh, support the videos. Unless you pay three extra dollars a month, which for three dollars a month, they'll they'll take the ads out. Now, <clears throat> I understand a lot of the uproar that we heard from some some people. It's like, like it's just another way for them to boost the prices on us. We've I've been a member and I've had no ads, and now you're just taking that away from me unless I give you more money. And I totally understand that perspective. But I want to propose that this is a little bit of a different situation than, say, Netflix, Disney Plus, Max, Peacock, when they increase their things. Because here's the thing about Amazon Prime. The video service is not actually what you're paying for. The video service is actually just an, a bonus benefit. Take a look at this. <clears throat> a lot of people forget that when you have Amazon Prime, you're actually getting a lot of stuff. For instance, if you're a Twitch person, Amazon Gaming, there's free games. There's also like free subs you can have. Like if you're into the Twitch community, stuff like that, they got a bunch of benefits if you're a Prime member that you can use over there on Twitch for free. Amazon Music, Prime Reading. Anna and I just recently took advantage of this where you could like list, literally borrow books and stuff like that. Early access to certain things. But the main reason I have Amazon Prime and I think the main reason most people have Amazon Prime is free shipping. Two-day and sometime same-day delivery, free. Just to bind those toasters. And I, I'll tell you <laughs> what, not to throw my wife under the bus, a lot of Amazon packages show up to my house every month. <laughs> I can't even get through the front door. And so... <laughs> I'm like, these, it's, like, it's, it's like true. Adventure. It's like an action adventure. I'm starring and trying to find my way. I feel like phone. whenever you or Ryan come over, you're like also coming. You're like you also carrying in packages. Like <laughs> this was on your doorstep. I mean, and so that Prime membership saves me a lot of money. That's what I'm paying for. I'm not paying for the Prime videos. I'm paying for the free shipping and the two day shipping and the same day shipping. That's what I'm paying for. Oh, and as a benefit to that, I also get Amazon Prime Video. And so. Unlike Netflix or Max or Disney Plus or whatever, like guess what? If I have an annual subscription to Disney Plus, I don't get free passes to Disneyland. Fuck Disneyland. Um, okay. Unlike you didn't have to bring up that analogy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, unlike whatever else, right? This is like a thing, and so now Amazon has said, okay, look, Prime is still we're we're still throwing in Prime Video for free. With your free shipping and your Amazon Music and your Twitch gaming and all, we're we're still throwing in Amazon Prime Video. But if you want it completely ad free, we're going to add three extra dollars. Look, I never like it when my prices go up, but this is out of all the streaming services that have announced that they've been raising prices stuff. To me, this one is the most understandable. I, I think to a degree because of how much you still actually get. Half those things that were just on that graphic, I didn't know about. I had no idea there's an Amazon gaming. Dude, mm -hmm. seriously. Or Amazon reading. Or Look what? up on YouTube, um, like, either Amazon Prime benefits or or little-known Amazon Prime. I've, I've stumbled across a couple of videos to give you, like, hey, there's, like, these 20 things, including, like, some kind of service where, oh, well, yeah, Whole Foods. Like, Amazon grocery shopping. Yep. You get free special Amazon deals on Fresh. that. They'll, like, they'll send you clothes to try on first. 
They've got that. Like I've seen these videos, like all these benefits, there's a lot you get for it. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Fume. Quitting cold turkey is great in theory, but you and I both know it's way more difficult than that. And that's why there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some fake online promises. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. And they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavor air device that does just that. See, instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. I personally didn't know what to expect when I first got my Fume. I mean, I've never liked vapes, but my goodness, the taste. The first time I tried it, I was completely sold on it. It was incredible. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 150,000 and customers and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off your order today. Yeah. So anyway, Rob, the day has now come. The ads have started appearing on the stuff. Reasonable, unreasonable, could lead to other things. I don't know. How do you see it? I want to preface these comments by saying I've loved Amazon for the better part of a quarter century now. Loved Amazon. Okay? But here's the thing. Um, this month, today, for instance, Arrow Video releases Conan the Barbarian, the box set, in 4K. Grail title for me. Supposed to come out. Today's the release date. I'm not getting mine until the end of February, according to Amazon. <laughs> Last week, I was supposed to get The Raid, Redemption, The Steelbook. I couldn't wait for it because the transfer is supposed to be much better. Dieter Bastian said it was much better. Oh, am I getting that? Nope. Not coming till end of February. Okay, but now, but but now, you don't understand why that is though, right? Because a lot of, of third parties who sell through Amazon, they are responsible for their own shipping. Whereas the no, stuff no. that's housed in Amazon. No, like I, I know, but Amazon's always got me my discs when I need them on time. Never been a problem until lately. Now here's the thing. Amazon Prime, they've been giving this to us. They're now selling ads. They're selling ads where before they didn't have ads. So they have a whole new revenue stream of ads. So they're making a lot more money than they were before. And yet, then they're also making their Amazon Prime customers. Like, I got an email from them going, that I guess I had to authorize an extra payment a month which I didn't hit a button. that, And so they're like, you're now getting an ad, uh, an ad tier on your Amazon thing. And I'm like, okay, let me get this straight. You now have a whole new revenue stream of ads, which you didn't have before, and you're now charging me more? I'm curious as to why. Now, maybe I wanted to write them back and go, if you make sure that my $3 goes to the SAG actors that need it and all the actors that appear and give them residuals, give the WGA, the DGA, whoever, can my $3 go to their residuals? Because why is it they're getting now ad revenue and an extra three bucks from everybody? That's not a bad business. But no, no, they're not getting three extra bucks from everybody. They're only getting three extra bucks from people who choose to opt in for the ad-free well, version. Well, right, but, but choose like to opt all in. All the was... other services, you have to pay extra to have the ad-free version. Of course, of course. But Amazon Prime's one of their, they've already upped their ads, uh, their shipping service, what, by 25 bucks this year? So it already went up a substantial well, because, amount. you know, a few years ago, they only had at, at fastest Tuesday shipping. Today, I can literally get something in two to three hours. Well, yeah, because we got Amazon warehouses within yeah, 10 miles of, miles of our right? house. I, I need dog food. I took I'm like, that click. yesterday. But yeah, and it's, it's great. But I, I do think it's a little odd. I mean, I understand it's only three bucks, but you know, that's kind of everybody's attitude now. It's like, yeah, it's only three bucks, but three bucks times 10 or 20 different subscriptions. But again, I think it's important to keep in mind though, that this is an opt in thing, right? Yeah. Like they've introduced the ads and not raised the prices. Like this has always been kind of a free add on. We're putting in ads, not raising prices. But if you want the ad free, then just like Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu or anybody else, if you want the ad free, there's a premium I, to pay. I, I agree, but with Amazon Prime, Part of that attractiveness, and it's not insubstantial. What is it, $175 a year now? Now, we right use it. There, yeah. I use it a lot, so it's a great deal. Don't I get me wrong. I that much a month. Yeah, it's an incredible <laughs> deal in shipping. I have no bones about that. But I do think it's odd that adding an ad tier is a big deal. That really changes the experience of watching something. 
And I think it's a substantial change. And it's interesting to watch where it's going to go. Do I, does it hurt me? Will I pay it? Sure. Because I like Amazon Prime. But I do find, I find it odd that they've added this extra premium, and I'm just wondering why. Why only three well, dollars? So back now to- I think of it as an ad, a, a premium. It's a streaming service I have to pay three dollars a month for. Right, which is cheaper than what you pay for Netflix. Yes. I, and and again, I, going back to the comparison of Netflix, is the three dollar difference between ad free or ad supported is the cheapest difference out of any of the major streamers because sure the, the, for Netflix. The price difference between ad supported and ad free is about seven dollars. For Disney, the difference between ad supported and ad free, I think, is six or seven dollars as well. So this is actually they Amazon has just made themselves the cheapest difference between ad supported and ad free. So why don't they use the three dollars times however many Prime members paid them today to put Roadhouse theatrically in theaters, and they have marketing money for it now? Dude, that's a totally different issue, but one I will happily <laughs> talk about because damn right they should be oh, putting that movie. Right. I mean, um, I'll tell you one you're, thing: you're, you're just trying to push my buttons now. It's you're fake. just trying to get me. Roadhouse right. will make no more money than Madam Web. <laughs> I guarantee you Roadhouse in theaters would make more money than that. I guarantee you Roadhouse... Look. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not going to uh, go uh, off uh, down uh, this uh, route. I'm Here, sorry. The whole point of this is I'm not upgrading. You know why? Because I don't watch anything on Amazon, baby. And when you do, it's at John's house, and he pays for it. <laughs> I yeah. know. But, I mean, listen, there's there's great stuff on I, I know. There, it, it, <clears throat> dude, and they did this. It's interesting. I mean, they should have done this before Reacher started. They did it the week after Reacher was over. It, when everybody really hooked on it, it's like okay, now I mean, it's. It does feel a bit ransomy. Like this is your this is your current thing. If you want it, if you want your ads like gone again, pay us more money. That was a little I, weird. It was a little ransomy. Again, but I'm though, surprised. It's... No, just hang on though. But I, I'm surprised because they would have made more money. I was thinking about this if they had instead done it the, the typical way. We're just gonna raise again, like everybody else does. Everybody else just raises it. But if you want to ad free come down in, in in money. However, this is where they still make money. The ad free is still a dollar more than it is right now. Well, that's what Disney Plus did, right? Yeah. Disney Plus, they when they were introducing their <clears throat> ad supported tier, the first thing they did was announce that their prices were going up on everything. Yeah. Right. Typical retail trick. But we, and we also <laughs> knew that Disney at some point was going to raise their prices. Well, and and Netflix and Hulu and mm-hmm. all of them do, right? But again, I think one of the things that really makes this different from all those others is that for most people, and and, and correct me if you think I'm wrong on this, I think for the vast majority of people who have Amazon Prime, they didn't get it for the video service. No, you're right. They got it for the free shipping. And they're not going to upgrade. And access to the video service. So in many ways, you could say that in many ways, the Amazon ad-supported tier is actually free. Yeah. Because... I, I pay my hundred seventy five dollars a month for my shipping. Yeah, it was going to go out anyway. No, right? that's that's I'm getting 100%. Amazon for free. No, and, and that's why I say like this actually is Amazon doing you a little bit better, because if they had done it my way or Disney Plus's way, they would have raised the price and give you a discount on ads. But the ads is still a dollar more than now. I, I guess I <laughs> guess what I find strange about it is like I, you pay Amazon Prime yearly. Why didn't yeah. they just add the three dollars? to Amazon Prime to the money that you're paying instead of now it's like a separate payment. Well, because it's, it's an option of ads. It's so an then option. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. right. But right. but I think if they could find a way to do that, I think that would be good. Yeah, if, just, if they could find just a way put to it into my... It. What's bizarre? What's bizarre to me? It's like, take my money, Amazon. You're taking hundreds of dollars from me every month. I don't care. But 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 they made it a thing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a thing. And I'm like, <laughs> just take, like, maybe. why am I looking at this? This It's kind of a little draconian. It's like, well, we've done this thing to you. Now you must pay. I'm like, you do well, all kinds ran- of things to me, and I love you for <laughs> that's it. That's the ransomy part of it. Yeah. That it, was, it, also was speaks, weird. it also speaks to the power of their streaming and their quality and their content that now this is a thing and they didn't just slip it in because like my mom does to this day forgets that there's even video. She just uses it for yeah, the shipping. Here. Yeah. So this will never affect her. But the fact that it is affecting a larger and larger audience, they're in the game, baby. Now, I also just for con- to put this in perspective, <clears throat> even once I sign up for I haven't done it yet, but I will. Once I sign up for the extra three dollars to keep my video ad yeah. free, the taint of ads, <laughs> I am still going to be paying less for Amazon than I do for my Netflix. Oh yeah, and oh, yeah, yeah. I'm get my Amazon Music, and I get Twitch benefits, yeah. and I get my Kindle benefits, Dude. and I get free shipping. 
and and you're and. paying it's still less the, the best yeah. deal value you're paying you're paying for, less for than streaming. even for like apple tv and you're not getting apple music with apple tv plus subscriptions. Apple TV's i'm i guess apple i'm TV just great. a little sore because amazon got me my 75 dollar old boy 4k that's awesome from neon great <laughs> so but yet they don't get me conan and they don't get me the raid redemption come on man so i'm sure that has something to do with supply i'm a simple man i'm sure it has something to do with supply. hey if you add three dollars they'll get it to you yeah, yeah. <laughs> three extra yeah. bucks it's right Boom, now. next day service. right now buddy <laughs> hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast available on apple Podcasts, spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it